Hi everyone, so if you're joining me from part one, thank you for joining. Today we're going to continue, I'm going to do um, a wrap up of day nine, but I'm also going to look at day ten. I'm going to look into different other questions. Um, if it's not in this one, it'll be in part three. I'll be doing red flags right from the start. Some of these you might have picked up on, some of these you might have heard through, I don't know if you're watching any crime documentaries, but I think some that you might not be aware of as well. Let's see. Um, it, obviously, for those of you that have been watching readings from the start, there might be different messages in this as opposed to another uh, reading. Um, but it takes you on a deeper dive to see if there's anything else that could be brought forward um, because it looks straightforward but for example i think there's i think there has been complexities um and the, those complexities, so I'm just predicting something, those complexities are going to be brought up by the defence. Obviously, defence lawyers always try to find something, but I think there are complexities that are going to be very, um, are very difficult not to, uh, to deny, are very difficult to deny from the prosecutor's side. So, um that is something. Now, yesterday I went through the timeline and something that really stood out to me yesterday was, you know, three days after, so on the fourth day, there was already a 200,000 reward for finding Suzanne. That's a huge, hefty amount. Obviously, someone has money, but for me... It's kind of like a confirmation that she wouldn't have been found. I just think that that was a red flag already. Four days after. Three days, three full days and on the fourth day. Who else thinks that's a bit of a red flag right from the get-go? So yesterday you would have got also from my reading that I felt one daughter really knew um she probably knew that her mother wanted to step away from the marriage as well when i look i've got the six of swords again at the bottom of the deck um and so i wonder how that's going to be when it goes to trial it's going to be an interesting trial to watch i think a lot of people are going to tune in so let's go on to Let's go on to day, day 10, May 10, not day 10, May 10, Mother's Day. And what I understand is the girls tried messaging their mother, obviously happy Mother's Day, but she wasn't answering. Now, I think whenever this happened to Suzanne, I don't think they were in the house, so I don't know where they were. Um, we're going to look at May 9, four cards to wrap up, and May 10. But I don't think they were in the house because... Uh, let me get into the tarot because psychically I'm getting ahead of myself, right? Show me May 10, please. Direct May 10 in terms of Suzanne. What happened to Suzanne? May 10, what happened to Suzanne? This would be from midnight, so after... 12 a.m. on the 10th of May until 12, 11.59, 12 a.m. to the 11th. Okay, so what happened to Suzanne? What was happening with Suzanne Morphew on the 10th? Let's get these. These are interesting cards. What happened to Suzanne on May 10th? May 10th. There's also some cards that came up in May 9th. I want to clarify. That really stood out to me. And I've just seen the death card, by the way. There. What 
happen to Suzanne on May 10th. This was actually a card I wanted to go back into with the Ten of Wands on May 9th. I remember it clearly here. It's a couple of cards that really stood out to me. Knight, Ace of Swords, Split the Deck, Ace of Pentacles. Again, new chapters, new beginnings. Um, so on May 10th, on May 10th, we really have something that is um, really a focus on a partnership here. Something between two people going forward okay there's a need for temper some kind of action and communication um a lot of um looking forward on a plan or something um now these cards concern me and this card concerned me on may 9th so i'll be going back to may 9th and may 10th again um, and I might need to go into May, um, let's just see, because, yeah, there's something here now. The Nine of Swords is really about the anxiety that's coming forward, um, and there's a lack of sleep on that day. But there is some sort of new chapter that's happened here where someone starts from zero, this is the person who I said has everything they need to do what they wanted. For me, I was getting something like elimination. May 9th, that's why I wanted to go into it. We also saw here the card. When we see this, this is very manipulative energy. It's, it's, it's the energy of manipulation in a very dark way. Okay, so again, quite concerning. When I see this in a tarot card reading, I would dig deeper, but let's just say I dig deep and I got more cards that identify for me. This could be that dark magic has been done on the person. I don't believe this is the case. I believe what was happening around the word I was getting around elimination and the infinity of life as we turn and go on to live, our soul lives on, etc., Okay, we've got the card again. Okay, this is May 10th. I want to pull a couple of clarifiers because for me, I want to understand whether here Suzanne is present. Disclaimer, this is for entertainment purposes only. Because in the first reading, I really got something of a message and I just want to go into that. But, uh, and use your own discernment fact finding. I want to check this card. It's the Wheel of Fortune. Remember, we had that Wheel of Fortune. Some really um, repetitive cards. Here, we've got that Six of Cups. Um, and something I was getting yesterday, there was definitely something about page, a number page. Yesterday, when I was thinking, I need to do May 10, I was, I was like, okay, I need to do page 10. And I said about page in the first reading as well. So whether this is a document at the courts, that's going to be really the key identifier. Um, or there's a, a book that was being researched on how to carry out certain things. You know, there's something about page 9, page 10. There's something about pages here that's really important. Something I was getting around this is that I'm not sure if Suzanne, um, in her early childhood had a difficult upbringing in terms of one of her parents. That was coming through to me yesterday as well. Okay. Here we've got 
um, the seven and seven. Seven is not very, seven identifies where legal is going to come into place. So this is probably was law enforcement called on the 10th. Yes, I said yesterday, didn't I? May 10 was when she was reported missing. We've got the sevens here that indicate that for me. Um, that's not always in cases, but here with these cards is indicating that. And also um, we see here the a King of Swords as well. Um, she definitely needed help and there was no one uh, there. And also, I feel like this was really for very selfish reasons, what happened to her. A lot of selfishness, a lot. I mean, yesterday we got the ego card, if you remember. Here we've got the seven of cups. Um, and I just want to go into that for a moment. So here it's like the desire, the will, the determination. Um, as opposed to being not able to see clearly, you actually have that desire and will. You're being pushed by it. And then we've got the seven of wands in reverse. And when I look at the two combined, what I'm getting here is, um, and I'm also getting, uh, I think, like I said, there was a f fight put up in this case. I think she really um, held her ground, but this is about embarrassment, um, anxiety, perplexity. So it's, you know, it's where you're, where you're normally having the strength to um, go on and fight back, you're actually feeling a bit perplexed, anxiety, you're not able to, but you have that desire to um, stand up and fight back, okay? So for me, this, I wonder if this is, I wanna get pull cards, but I feel like the energies of the 9th and 10th are getting mixed up here. Um, and I feel like when this happened, we're going to get the four wrap up days, uh, the four cards to wrap up each day. But when this happened to Suzanne, and we've got not a definite clarifying, when I see these cards in the May 9th and May 10th now, this tells me there was definitely an end of a cycle here without seeing the death card, an end of a cycle and new one um, starts. You know, here we see where I said there's something about elimination. We got it in May 9th, right? So there's a mix here. But regardless, on the day, she, you know, we know that she was drugged with tranquilizers. And I think she had a desire to fight back. But I think because of what she was drugged with or shot with, I would say probably, um, and I put a couple of pictures at the beginning, um, I believe that she... Um, she uh at one stage she was not able to get up and fight back because of what was injected in her she had the desire it wasn't like she um it wasn't like she um was confused and overwhelmed no she could she wanted to but she was just not able to okay and we can i can see that in these cards very clearly so um, here as well, I just want to pull a couple of more cards and then I'm going to wrap up and go to um, back to this card, which I wanted to clarify. There's a couple of cards I wanted to clarify. I definitely want to clarify this and the Ten of Wands and there was a Three of Pentacles that really got my attention in reverse because like I said, I think there is um, awareness, involvement or knowing by at least two other people, all right? So, um, a lot of communication happened on May 10, a lot of movement, which probably would make sense because court, uh, law enforcement were called and maybe there was people looking out. The Knight of Swords, a lot of, yeah, look, Five of Cups is the loss, is the loss. The Knight of Swords is rushing forward and we've got the devil when I say that and there's clear communication that's coming through. Again, on the May 10th, there's a clear decision that needs to be made in choice 
when interacting with law enforcement. There's that ten of wands of heavy burden, and again the interaction with tower, um, tower with uh, law enforcement, and about the tower moment. Um, again, in May night, I said about there was a clear point where someone should have taken a step back to really see clearly and get epiphany as opposed to move forward, and we've got this. I also think the um, I think it was clearly strategized in a way that split the deck magician that the person never thought that they would ever be found out at the same time there was something that i think i believe that when she was although the tranquilizer was shot um there was a moment in time where she was obviously quite sedated that there was a clear choice on what to do next so, for example, in the first one, I said that they might have recently had like a date night, okay, maybe to try and get things off the ground again, spark up interest. Um, maybe at that point, he didn't know about the second uh, someone else in the in the picture of who she was communicating. Um, and maybe he was waiting to see her decision on that or her reaction um, if she warms up to him again or you know either the either side split the deck yeah look ten of cups is she going to or you know let's say whoever it is gonna bring back this ten of cups okay um and while she was sedated it was clear that she you know i think it was like she wasn't gonna have any of it anymore and so do i go forward um there's some communication that happened at that time. Do I go forward and work? Or do we work on this or not? So I think he might have said to her, are we going to work on this or not? Again, um, there's some clear choices and communication that happened then. Again, tower and devil um, is really significant in this um, energy as well. Can you see here the fall of the new chapter the manipulation of the story that she went bike riding um and i think there's a lot of cliffs there um uh, and obviously i mean she could have still gone bike riding returned and something happened i just know that um and by the way yes in these readings i'm doing psychic work i'm doing readings but again, you know, when I assess stuff, I'm not assessing stuff from a lack of qualification or experience. Um, I do have a different background as well. So um, I'm not talking or stating stuff from um, kind of a, an ignorant point of view, if you would like to say, um, sort of thing. So it's worth um, probably pondering on what maybe I bring forward as to it could be, does it sit well with your your thoughts? And I forgot what I was just gonna say. Um, I think it should be after this reading is scheduled, but again, I just mentioned, I just mentioned the reading I'm gonna do on a little boy um, and as I do this part, um, what I'm understanding is when things go to trial, that's when different, it got, starts to get into the news. It's, it's known to be in the news. So I think it might start getting some media attention, but if not, I'm still going to do the readings, even if I have to continue to do energy readings on the case. Um, I feel very strongly on the case, um, that you will see, um, maybe you haven't heard of the boy, um, but depending when the reading is processed and uploaded and when I can get to the reading, because um, I wanted to do it a couple of days ago, but I was really busy, maybe some media attention gets starts, starts to get sparked around it. Um, I feel like I was called to the trial as well, to land on the trial, because I don't usually look at those things. So right now, what I'm gonna ask from this step 
is I'm going to ask for four cards for each day. Please show you show me the final four cards for May night. I said I wanted to clarify the magician as well and the ten of wands, and I will do that. Page of cups. I still believe that one of the daughters knows. got here um Suzanne okay and um she's feeling quite trapped all right she's feeling quite trapped but at the same time she's got this desire to move forward um but as she's got this desire to move forward she's also starting to feel hopeless um I think she feels that there's a need for support um but at the same time she feels a bit bound and I wonder if she was actually worried to take the step because she feared there's so much that wants to come through the cards I don't even know if four is enough again so um, I'm getting told to look at this card ten of swords so it could have happened on the we're getting clear cards now it could have happened on the uh, May 9th okay all right May 9th could have been the ultimate when it happened to her from May uh, 9th 12 a.m till 12 p.m. I'm talking of that period and I know that um, I think a last message was seen on that day um, I do think that the, somebody in the neighbor uh, hood could have heard something could have heard some kind of inclination um, I wonder also on May 9th if she actually sent a message or communicated with this person who maybe might have been a love interest or she had some spark and passion towards if it was May 9th. I can't remember if in the first one I was getting May 9th or, or the first one I got. I only did May 9th, so I did get it on May 9th. Um, so that might tie in. I'm also getting, um, there was something else I wanted to share in terms of flags. Have any of you seen the body cam footage, by the way? I'm going to look into that, but I know that I've seen the interview uh, with the two girls and the dad sat, um, and you see that picture um, in part one. Um, but also, uh, is, is the picture in part one? I can't remember. Or is it two girls walking? No, it's not. I'll try and add it to this part, but they were sat down. I remember that was the first interview for a couple of minutes that I'd seen. Um, I don't even know how long the original interview is. I believe they've got uh, dark hair, brown hair. Um, and that's where I picked up on one of them. And I've seen the body cam of nighttime where Barry arrives and the, I think the police are outside. And I think it's where they found her bicycle. Um, and on that he says something about a mountain lion straight away and I was just like thinking I know it's the wilderness but like how did a mountain lion take her or drag her or something and that just struck at me um, but I'll be going back to see some interviews and also uh, look at body cam I don't you know I'm just gonna have to search it on YouTube so here we really see that um, I think somebody in the neighborhood has heard something um, but this is probably when it happened May 9th um, let's just get a couple of more cards um, yeah look so May 9th is when it happened there's the anxiety also the sleepless nights um, and this could be really about um, let me just get a card on that um, I wonder if they would they also had some sort of discussion around finances or a loss of finances on something but we we get that okay we really do get that um, and um, the 
it's something that wants to come through to me with this card. question just shuffle there's that ten of wands i wanted to clarify the ace of swords um now i know they found in her body um and causes sort of like homicide um again there's a decision i just feel without throughout there's always been a choice to step back as opposed to go the full length here so for me this definitely confirms that may Ninth, it happened. Um, she was not, you know, she, she died on May 9th. Obviously, May 10th might show this card again because um, she's already the, in, in this chapter, basically. Um, yeah, um. I wonder if there was some sort of communication or um, there's her as the mother um, or juggling of monies that was sort of in mind or communicated. There was some form of something around a financial loss okay um i don't also think she was feeling her best on the may night on may night i don't know why i'm saying on the may night split the deck get the queen of swords she quite she might have been quite in her emotions on may night there could have been something there um i do think there's something around money So it was going to be in reverse, wasn't it? Um, Spirit actually said to me that this is the main card I need, but we'll look at it. Inner strength is the... Um, yeah, I don't think she was feeling her best. I don't think she was feeling her strongest main night. Um, even before all this happened, you know, we've got... We had this, if you remember yesterday, we had the Nine of Pentacles in reverse as well. Um, and so... With the five of five of pentacles, it's not it's an avoidance, so I think she really tried to avoid. Uh, what happened um, I wonder if she was also sort of split the deck page of cups is that I feel there's the daughter that's close that kind of knows king of wands um, and the hierophant The reason I'm pausing is because I wonder, give me one card for the sign of pentacles, I wonder if she was actually, trying to run away at some stage, but she just couldn't from, you know, what was, either while she was trying to run away, she was shot, but then she couldn't move as much, even though she had the desire, we saw in fast spread. Um, I'm getting that for some reason. It's not the meaning of the card. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles again in reverse. And four of Wands. So yeah, really, I think this happened at the house. Um, stuck at the house. Um, couldn't get away. Trying to get away. That's that world card. There was some form of online communication as well, but... A significant sign of Taurus Virgo or Taurus Virgo 
uh, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius here. Again, in the first read, I wondered if she was a Taurus. I'm not sure, um, but I wonder that as well. Heavy hair uh, placements, I feel, in her energy. Um, but here we've got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. You're really not in a good energy here. Um, and for her, I think she... Um, was really lonely and there was a lot of inner emptiness within her within her home dynamic within her environment but i feel like this is someone trying to escape and just could not as much as they tried to they could not escape i can't emphasize that enough um and the ten of wands appeared again let's see um what is this heavy burden um Trying to defend oneself against what should be your lover. Um, and again, we've got choices here. So, yes, yeah, so the Ten of Wands um, is, uh, you know, trying to defend herself. Um, it might have been done towards the end of the night, all right? Or as things were, sunset was coming down, basically. And also, um, maybe some movement around the, look, around the um uh what do you call it around the uh, okay so when i see these two cards i think th there's a message here separately that she loves her daughters okay um that's just coming out separately because i was thinking what is that ace of cups now but she really wanted to move forward with her life and i think she really wanted to move forward with this new person who she was speaking to but there's a lot of secrets that, despite of what we think we know, that is not known. Um, significant times was as sunset was going down, and then as sunset was setting up, which would have been the next day. We've got that page of pentacles again. Um, and I think this could be, um, again, a daughter. But I wonder if there was some sort of um, apology. We've got, again, we've got, see, we've got a lot of youth here. I don't know if um, I don't know if May 9th like the daughters had friends over or there was some sort of um, maybe a boyfriend who sometimes comes over that might have come over on the night at some stage um, but also here I get that um, I feel she was starting to feel a bit more in her youth when communicating with this person. Um, but I think it was also a little bit, I wonder if she was caught with this message or what she was doing um, or a message that said she wanted to move away. I'm getting that very strongly. Okay, so let's just quickly go into the... need to make sure that I put the right cards with the right deck. I'm just going to look on the camera, make sure we're okay. Okay, so I think we're okay. Now let's just get a four cards to wrap up what could have been on the uh, May 10th, okay? Um, I don't think I need to clarify the magician or anything like that because I think we've got a lot of clarif- we had a lot of clarifications here. As you saw that I just put these at the top again, so I'm just going to shuffle so that we have And then when I shuffle, it's double shuffle, isn't it?
So bottom of the deck, love all, a lovers, um, four of pentacles, five of pentacles, king of swords, okay. Um, I just asked for a question, that's why I got those out, okay. I do wonder if one stage, she actually nearly stepped outside, she was actually outside and then dragged back in. Four cards to wrap up May 10th, please, Spirit. Four cards clearly wrap up May 10th, please, Spirit. Okay, we've got four cards. We've got the Nine of Pentacles up right now. Justice in reverse. Makes sense. The desire and the will is there. Very clear thinking. And the Seven of Pentacles. Um, so I wonder if actually her body was moved on May 10th from 12 a.m. to some time because I said sunset on the May 9th until um, sunrise was very significant on this. Sunrise would have been on May 10th. So I wonder if, um, you know, the injustice was in, rever in reverse, but someone was feeling quite good on May 10th. You know, uh, despite justice in reverse, so something not good had happened, obviously. They still had the desire and will and clear thinking. And again, here is where I see a bit of support. And I think this is um, somebody close to them. Um, so there's something about secrets that are not known, yes. So yeah, her body was, it would have been, you know, actually, look at that, even confirming. I asked for a card out of two cards, a particular card, I've got the card. Um, it was, her body was buried on uh, May 10th, which could be from 12 a.m. until whatever time, but her body was buried on May 10th. So I think, you know, this tranquilizer and she was so she had been hit from the track I think she was held um, and she was hit with that tranquilizer to just be able to obviously control uh, the situation um, his emotions I feel could have been a little bit out all over the place it was still dark so remember I said until sunrise, it wouldn't have been light when it was done. Um, again, we've got the moon very much in defense. And then we've got the eight of pentacles, the ten of wands that keeps coming out. And then thinking there's a victory around this. Um, there could be something to do with a, um, I don't know where she, I think her remains was, was the remains found quite far away. Um, but I wonder if they actually dug up or if at first she was placed in like an old work site or a work site or something that was being constructed either nearby something like that okay um, and then she had to really be moved so i don't know where the daughters were on the may on may 9th may 10th um, i believe they were at the home at some stage because uh, they'd asked about their mother for mother's day now, Suzanne is someone who had cancer even yesterday. I was looking um, at the age of like 17 or 18 and she was told, you know, obviously she might have been told she wouldn't have been survived. But I think one of the things was that she might not have children. I don't know what cancer she had, but could you imagine a mother who has two daughters deciding to move or leave um, a marriage on... Um, 
on the on May 10th. It's not going to happen, is it? Um, but then again, I think the story is an abduction. But then on the body cam, I hear something about a mountain lion dragging her, um, which is very interesting. So let's see. So I do think justice is going to be brought in, okay? Uh, he is going to have his tower moment, all right? I think there's going to be an offering to try and take a plea deal um, where there's also a sum of money that could be um, uh, put up. There's going to be trying to hold on to a narrative that's being created. Um, the Eight of Pentacles is also feeling quite hopeless um, uh, in terms of... Um, obviously going forward and the desire and the will to go forward um i think he's actually waiting on an edge of any moment now they're going to come and try and get you know cops might turn up okay he he is holding on to um why am i getting money but i think that's what he's holding on to the narrative and also the whole idea of um, a plea deal or getting out of some sort of long tenature in terms of um, offering money, okay? Um, but there is going to be that tower moment with authorities. Who's this King of Cups, please? I wonder if the King of Cups is um, I think someone new is going to speak and it's going to help really bring that absolute tower moment down where even the defense having certain things to bring forward um, instead of walking away this person who has love for uh, I wonder if it's a brother This person who has love for Suzanne, instead of just walking away, is now probably going to submit something. Uh, it's going to take a lot of inner strength from them that is really going to help um, put a final sort of, if you want, nail in the coffin. He's still going to advocate his love for um, for Suzanne, okay, but there where I said put the final nail in the coffin, uh, that, to me that represents that. We've got the Knight of Wands in reverse here which is very interesting. Um, if you think you can just smoothly get away with something, that is not happening here, okay, that is not happening. Um, this is where, you know, this... Um, sabotage that comes in and there's unfocused energy there's a little bit of cockiness that we could see um, but that is also not going to help in this situation split the deck we've got the nine of wands on the defense the defense is going to try to um, but it's not going to be good This might um, take a little bit of a twist or a bit longer than what you think. So you might think that they're going to turn up at his door and just arrest him and then the trial is going to go, that's it, he's got the thing. 
it's going to be very speedy it might actually take a bit longer than what we think uh, due to maybe what is obvious um, yeah because there's a lot of manipulation there and I get again this one of the daughters might end up saying something to authorities that bring a little bit more of a breakthrough um also the person she was speaking to might agree to testify again going to take a lot of inner strength from them but um whatever they testify will really help bring closure to one particular question here Can you see why I'm saying it might take a little bit more time than what you expect? It depends on what you expect because we don't have, we, for me, I see these cards as, yes, there's going to be justice, um, but um, there is a little bit of um, wavering energy. We didn't get like the justice card come out straight away. Three cards. And I feel like the justice card is going to come out now. We'll just take it. Yeah, so the justice card still hasn't come out. Um, as you can see, so it might take longer than what you're thinking. But just know that it's going to be pretty solid when it comes forward because there are still secrets and manipulation that we're not aware of. Um, this could mean that there's actually a female that at the back of it really knows also something. Um, so I presume this is someone who's actually keeping a hold on the secret again. We get this three of pentacles um, and I really feel like this is, you know, I do feel like there was something around something is hidden around a cement area or something that was then covered with cement or a, you know a building something there was it might have been looked at but something there was overlooked that could have also been the place where she was placed first and then she was moved okay but there's also a female and i'm not talking about one of the daughters here that knows something clearly that I believe has either indirectly, I don't think they're so directly, has helped. That holds, is a keeper of secrets as well. One of the daughters, um, again, one might be okay to come forward and one might not know really how to come forward. So, you know, Barry might be actually um, speaking to her, you know, basically maybe giving her a narrative or asking her to come forward, even if he doesn't give her a narrative. Um, we've planted seeds um, for this, but there'll be one daughter that I think... Um, like i said i think one daughter's really closer to the mother or knows what happened um and one daughter might be easily lured more by the father or is closer to the father i just want to see how far let's see how far the justice card is in this it needs patience there's quite a lot of strategy that took place hidden strategy but the person will be caught the time is running out. There is something around finances and investments. So I don't know if he's tried to tap into other, you know, maybe investments. Maybe Suzanne had or something. Maybe he's going to try and move assets into one of the daughter's names. Um, moving forward, communication will come clear. There will still be some, ex you know, back and forth between the parties. There will be a celebration here. There might be a pause and a moment before that happens, but there is success. 
and the heavy burdens will be dropped um, and there will be focused energy there needs to be extremely focused energy in this case um, no deterioration of the path because there will be a breakthrough in it justice will come justice is coming and then um, the five of cups the loss that keeps being brought up there is something around text messaging there is something around where money tracking and also can money be given in terms of a plea deal um, who walked away that was going to come forward in this whole case it shows that you know someone is at loss and here I'm again I'm reminded of um, two things the daughter that knows something I've said it from the start um, but also where Suzanne felt like you know a bit of regret of walking walk not walking away earlier um, there's something about this card and then we get the justice and behind it is the moon um, the justice uh, of all the hidden secrets around Barry uh, and then the Knight of Swords really comes in that page of cups is the is the daughter that knows something okay and there we go okay so um, justice is coming in but we just might get to know more details around things I definitely have a diff another part on this I've got more that I would like to share with you I've not even got through half of what I wanted to say um, but let me just get this eight of cups is really about loss walking away um, and I think that's what probably the family the daughters um, I'm really getting one daughter here you know I'm not saying they both um, I think they both love their mum but I think one daughter might have she knows a bit more or she might have been closer um, and it's kind of like obviously they've lost one parent it's very difficult to then lose another and they will need the support system because um, they're going to be overwhelmed and clouded and a bit confused around everything that's happening around their home around their family a lot of anxiety difficult choices and decisions and decisions to make um you know around what happened so i'm going to leave it here and in the next one i'm probably going to go into a bit more of the red flags um around this um i do also get something around I don't know if it's deliberately or stupidly. I think, you know, like where I said there was a strategy. I do think that um, police have also messed this up a little bit. Um, how is that? Um, I don't know if they just... There's something during investigation or when they're called they might have messed something up you know there might be something that they've messed up they've spoken they've touched um and they shouldn't and it's that's where also i think where i said about the defense having a strong narrative um to really defend i think that's something else i think i also heard that they found dna of someone else where a lot of people are saying it's an ex offender or an offender um related to um other criminal cases like s ab abuse or s crime cases i'm not sure if that's true i do think i do understand that there's dna other person's dna found but how how true is that or maybe they mean the history of the person they found has x records or something like that so that's something i'll look into a bit further um but i do think um the authorities and look yeah i'm back to these two at the bottom of the deck i do think the authorities um hold some information but i think they messed up a few things and um the defense is going to try and play on that so everyone this was part two i hope you're enjoying this if you are look out for part three where i'm going to discuss some red flags I'm just going to try and look at some of the interviews. Now I'm going to dive into a bit more information, see what we get. 
um, and um, I want to ask the motive, the clear motive, but I think it's really that the relationship was falling apart and um, the things I've already stated. So take care and bye for now.